All right, what's up guys? Welcome to the video. Ugh. Alex just did like an actual big talk on the video, so I'm gonna cut over to that now, but I hadn't started the video yet. So this is the start. Welcome to today's vlog. But you guys are gonna go ahead and listen to what Alex had to say, and then we'll come back to the rest of the vlog. Hi guys, what's up? Hello. <laughs> I feel like I have not vlogged on this channel in so long. Um, like actually held the camera up, because it's usually Dan that always does all the vlogging, and I'm just kind of in the background. And I decided I want to pick up the camera right now and talk to you guys. So I know a lot of you guys always come to me for like advice and you have so many questions and I love to be that like role model the <laughs> role model for you guys. But I also feel like we're like friends, if that makes any sense. Like I feel like for those of you that watch on a daily basis, if not weekly, and you comment or you just interact with us a lot, I feel like we're friends. And I also feel like I want to break the barrier of like just me always being the one giving advice. I feel like I can get a lot of advice from you guys if we go through similar situations or anything like that. So, so lately I've been going through kind of a funk with like friendships and stuff. Not in like a horrible dramatic way. It's just that I've been feeling like there's certain people in my life that it's almost like I've been not testing but figuring out if these people are like good to have in my life or if they're not not that they're bad people just like for me if it's healthy or not and I've been feeling lately that there's certain people that I just don't feel comfortable having them in my life for different reasons and not that they were not that these people are super close to me anyways like my two two best friends of all time cat and cat like I'll never they're like my sisters but if you guys have been following me at least for a long time, you'll know that I went through a phase when I was like 21 where I lost like really close friends and I cut people out of my life and blah blah blah. I went through like a cleansing and realized that there's certain people I want to keep in my life and that's that. Then as social media became me, as much as I don't like to admit it, like I know I am a person before I am social media, but basically where I live, I am social media. Like anyone that knows of me or just has seen a video of mine or heard of me they just associate me Alex Shintomo with social media and of course in our day and age social media is a very trending thing right now so for businesses for personal growth just to seem cool I guess so I got a lot of people wanting to be my friend without the intention of actually being my friend for me mostly just for my social media whatever even if they don't completely see it it's just hard to make friends and not that i'm trying to go out and make a bunch of friends because i have a really good close group of friends and i feel like you know it's quality over quantity but i i definitely do have my guard up a lot and i feel like recently i've kind of let it down and I've let certain people into my life that I'm now feeling feeling like I regret it. And I know it's it's not like a, a matter that you guys might like relate to in a sense of like social media, but I feel like a lot of you probably go through this even at school, just like girls that they don't really like you for you. And it's like, what do you do in that situation? Where do you draw the line of like, is this person worth being in my life? Like, how do I do this without sounding mean or sounding like a bitch or like, what do I, what do I do? And obviously everyone has their demons. I'm not a perfect person. I struggle with a lot of, you know, issues and stuff, but my closest friends will always kind of have my back. And I've been feeling like lately, I don't feel that way. Dan's just like lying in the background on his computer. I, would, I just woke up from a nap, so I'm like, Ugh. Yeah. So I have a personality that's very much um, honest and upfront, and if I'm feeling a certain way, I'll say it. If I have an opinion on something, I'll say it. If you ask me for my opinion, I'll tell you honestly and truthfully. I'll never sugarcoat anything, and I'll never... I don't typically bite my tongue in situations where maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't, I don't know. I'm just very upfront like that. That's just my personality and I'm like that online too. Like I just, I say things how they are. And I have a lot of friends that are not like that and which is fine because we actually work well together because let's say we disagree on something, we just don't end up arguing because we're, we don't butt heads. But some people like when I do clash personalities with other people it's not like like a negative thing like I hate this person it's just like in my life I just feel like I don't feel happy with those kinds of people I feel like this is so rambly and I'm sorry I just don't know how to say it like without saying names or without being like I don't know immature 
is the word I'm looking for because obviously I'm posting this on the internet so anyone could see it so I just don't want it to be like whatever I'm also the kind of person that if I have a problem with someone I usually tend to tell them but it's gone to the point now where I've been getting advice from like friends and Dan that like sometimes I say too much and sometimes I should bite my tongue in certain situations and to pick my battles and blah 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 so there was a situation that happened today which really upset me in the morning this morning I was crying and I'm also very emotional right now <laughs> like I recently, um, I was, this is also TMI, but I was on birth control pill for like the past like seven years of my life and I recently stopped just because it was making me feel crazy. Like I'm gonna go see the gyno and probably see if there's another kind of pill I can go on because I feel like I should regulate my period and stuff, but to be completely honest, like I've been feeling a lot better off of it and I feel like it is healthy to give your body a break from being on the birth control pill for that long like I feel like that's not good but yeah I've been just very emotional because I've been having like real hormones and stuff and like yeah it's just been I cry always for no reason I'll just like look outside and cry because like I don't know a, the wind was blowing the tree the wrong way <laughs> it makes zero sense I like always text my friend Catherine Grizzlack and I'm like I'm just crying for no reason and she's like oh my god same like we're just very similar like that so I have been very emotional I'm getting sidetracked again so this morning something happened and I was very emotional over it and you know Dan and my sister obviously are always there for me and they're telling me like Alex like we understand like you're emotional over this kind of thing and like it makes sense because you've gone through something kind of similar a few years back and you're more sensitive towards it but like Kyla made a good point. She's like, there's no reason why I should be this upset over it. And like this, like you're crying, like what, like it doesn't make sense. And so I thought that maybe I would turn to you guys and see like how you deal in situations where you feel like you're kind of the only person who feels that way. And maybe other people don't understand and like you kind of feel like alone in a sense of like am I crazy like why do I feel so emotional about this one situation which you should just let go but you can't and like what to do from there and how to approach it in like a mature way how to go about things without you know starting drama like these are my struggles because I don't know how to approach situations without letting my emotions take over which a lot of people, in my life at least, they just bite their tongue and like let it go and like whatever, this person's like that, it's no big deal, blah blah blah. Whereas I, when something happens and upsets me, I like let it upset me and it like, I don't know how to just like not ups let it upset me if that makes any sense. And I think that's why me and Catherine Grislak get along so well because she is like me in a sense. I mean, she still like is like more mature, I feel like. She's able to realize, okay, this is not the time to like be mad at this person or blah, blah, blah. But for me, I feel like we connect on that way. And so she came over and like, she told me exactly what I wanted to hear kind of thing. It's just like, I don't know. I feel like I just want to be kind of honest with you guys and ask for your advice and opinion on what you would do in a situation where you feel like, for one, you're acting crazy and like the rational side of you is like Alex, relax but also is it okay to feel that way and what you would do it's just hard like i i want to talk to you but i don't want to like tell you the story because i don't want it to be like immature blah 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 so yeah just basically what you would do in a situation where you feel like you're the only one that feels a certain way and you feel like you're crazy and basically i don't know i don't know what i'm saying basically we love you no <laughs> but you're the one that's like not making me feel good about this why because you're like Telling me I'm not, you're not saying I'm crazy, but you're like... You just get very emotional. And sometimes you overthink things. And make I it, always You overthink. make it worse than you think it actually is. But yeah. that's okay. That's part of who you are. But also in this situation, it's like it's happened to me before where it actually happened. So it's like, I'm scared it's going to happen again. Yeah. Sometimes I feel alone and I feel like, I know Dan's here. Oops, sorry, I just smacked you in the face. <laughs> but I feel like I want like, like your advice. Because that would mean a lot to me, so yeah. Love you guys. Okay guys, so I wanted to show you the results of us cleaning Alex's room yesterday. We went on like a crazy tear of cleaning it up. It was insane. So I'll show you guys. Look at how much more room there is here. The clothes hanging up are things she's using for a video coming up, or I think a bit of that is laundry that's drying. But like, look at how much room is here now. There's nothing in the way. All here is like pretty much clear. These sweaters are just like the very end of cleaning out the closet. I'm cleaning out my closet. And this has so much more room now. We have the drone bag and a camera tripod up there. There's so much more room. It's so much nicer. Camera bag fits in there. It's all these 
cubby holes are organized. We've got all like the GoPro and stabilizing equipment in there. And then my side here, minus the cable, is like way cleaner. I used to have my bags lying around and have no room to walk here. Now I have like a few clothing clothes there, but mostly just my workout bag. That's like a bit of laundry that I did here at her house. Plus we made the bed. I mean, it's a little messy now because it's not made, but it was made earlier. But we also bought new pillows yesterday. So look, we bought memory foam. So like you squeeze it and then it just opens right back up. Oh my God, it, it's so soft, these pillows. And when you sit on it, let me see if I can show you. I'm gonna move these two. I'll put my head on it. Okay, here, let's try to film. So when I put my head on the pillow, Oh, it sinks in and then it's like molded to my face. Oh, it's so nice. They're so squishy. I wish you guys could feel it. It like, look at that. Oh, it's literally the best pillow I've ever had. Last night I slept and I was like, oh my God. It's so nice. And the guy said they're so, so, so long lasting. Like they're gonna last at least six years. The new memory phone pillows are supposed to be like amazing. Oh, it's so nice. Uh, right now, Alex is on the phone. Whoops, I just stepped in the clothes hangers. Alex is on the phone right now, but we're gonna try to figure out what to do the rest of the day because today we've just mostly been chilling and hanging out. But I think we're gonna try to figure out something to do for dinner and then we have a few errands to do. If we don't get them done today, then we're gonna do them tomorrow. So we're making some pasta tonight. We're making some gnocchi. Alex made a nice garlic and oil sauce, but we realized half the package wasn't enough. So now we're making the second package. Just boiling the water here for that one. And Alex went off to the grocery store. She's gonna pick up a couple more things to have for dinner and then we're gonna settle in and get ready to watch more Olympics tonight. We just finished watching the Olympics. And, and won medal. Yeah, so exciting. Who are you guys cheering for? Obviously, you guys are probably cheering for your own countries, but yeah. Canada represent. <laughs> My dad yesterday was like, it's like, Canada is like the best country for coming fourth place. Yeah. We should get a trophy for coming or, always fourth place. Or falling off the bar in gymnastics. <laughs> we just always miss the medal. I mean, that hasn't. I don't think it's happened yet. But like we in came, the history, we, we came fifth tonight in something. In the history of Canada at the Olympics, <laughs> classic fourth place. No, but actually, Canada is, is also really good at bronze medals. <laughs> Can we just get first? Like I think it was last Olympics in London or something, or maybe it was Beijing. We had like a ton of bronze medals. <laughs> Can you hold this for a sec? Yeah. Olympics are so cool. Mhm. Mm I wish I could be there watching, not competing, because like, oh my god, I retweeted this thing today. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Hold on, I'll read it to you. Oh my god, Catherine just texted me <laughs> the longest novel of life. <laughs> It was like, there are 16 year olds competing at the Olympics and I still push on pull doors and struggle getting through the whole day without a nap, laughing my ass off. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I still pull on push doors. <laughs> yep, that's me. But Dan almost made the Olympics. When well, the... okay, not actually. Well, you went to Olympic trials. That's better than I did. Yeah. What'd you place? Uh, I don't remember. I think, I think my best Finish was eight, I think. And what do you have to do to make it top two? You have to win or come second and get a really fast time, but it's like too fast. <laughs> well, you're the best in my eyes. Thank you. You're welcome. For some reason, I don't know if I spoke about this on the vlog yet, but I randomly stumbled across an, um, I guess, not an interview, more like a documentary type interview of Jamie Lynn Spears. Like one that came out recently about her like new song or new album blah 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 and then on the side You know how they show like in the comments or next to the comments There's like all the other videos that are like similar so I saw one of Britney Spears So I started watching that and then again another one another one I just kept watching so many documentaries about Britney Spears and I honestly like became like addicted to watching them they're so good just all about her life and how she started off and i mean i was a huge britney fan back in the day like literally obsessed with her when i was like nine ten years old even more but i loved britney and it's really cool to see where she came from and how she started her career and how you know she got so successful and everything she did and then how she couldn't deal with all the success after a while and you know not that i'm anywhere near Britney Spears' level, but I was watching some um, of the interviews 
with the like paparazzi and stuff they used to stalk her and getting kind of like the inside scoop in her life and like things she would do and like how she hated the paparazzi and it ruined her life but then she would do things to like have them be there and she like loved the attention and blah 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 and like i guess knowing some celebs and seeing how it goes like what happens behind the scenes it's crazy like so many celebs complain about the paparazzi yet the paparazzi are the only reason why they're talked about in the tabloids and why they're so famous and they like an example i have is i know a celebrity that always complains about the paparazzi yet when they were vacationing they tipped off the paparazzi of what they were doing so then the paparazzi came and took a bunch of pictures and they acted pissed that the paparazzi was there but they like told the paparazzi they were there so it was like it's all an act and it's so stupid because they even show in the documentary like Britney's in her car and she takes down the hood of her like convertible puts on the lipstick starts posing blah 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 and it's like the paparazzi guy was saying like when people don't want to be have pictures of them they don't even they would never open their car hood they would hide they would do anything to like not get the shot she's like living for it so as much as she hated it at times she knew that it was good for the career and it's just crazy to to see that kind of side of it because you know that it's what keeps your fame going it's just crazy i mean i still love Britney Spears so much she is one smart talented girl and she follows me on twitter so that's cool the two famous people that follow me on twitter is obama right britney spears barack obama <laughs> <laughs> i'm not even american but i'm not complaining that's pretty cool and i didn't even follow him when he followed me <laughs> i went to go follow him and realized he was following me i was like that's random yeah, that's really weird. It was a mistake or something, but it was yeah. it's awesome. And when I first got Twitter, Britney Spears followed me. Like, literally my second follower. So it's probably one of those random, like, things that her team or whatever just follows a bunch of people. And that's so weird. I was, like, so confused because 2009, it was, like, I was just got Twitter because my friend had it. And I was like, Britney Spears just followed me. I'm like, there's no way that's her. And then, like, it was the verified account. I was like, okay. <laughs> Well, that is her. When you see celebrities complaining about the paparazzi, know that, not all the time, but majority of the time, they know they're gonna be there, and they know, like, they, they're aware of it. They're not actually that pissed off, you know? There are times, definitely, where it's annoying, but they know it's for their career, and they know it's gonna keep them talked about. Celebrities that you don't see in the tabloids that much are the ones that actually don't want to be in the public eye and like as much as the paparazzi try they don't really ever end up getting the great shot because the person just does not want to be a part of it so that's when you know is when you don't see a lot of paparazzi pictures of the person i was trying to find like a way to um download and save the gif of like the gymnastics comparing so i wanted to like put it in the vlog because we were watching on i was on reddit and there was somebody showing like the the comparison of like gymnastics from like the 1930s compared to now like what they did for their I don't know their stunt or whatever you call it their mm -hmm. I don't know what you call it in gymnastics I never did it you know like when they go off the vault and they spin and then they land like comparing the two oh my god it was hilarious in like the 1930s they just post the link down below yeah but I would be cool to like show it on the screen if I find it I'll put it like right here somewhere but it's if not I'll, I'll link it down below it was so funny the 1930s one they run and they just like jump on it <laughs> and they're like, ta-da! And it's like, you didn't do anything. <laughs> Back then they did. Yeah, now it's like they jump and do a handstand. It's like, like eight flips and craziness. I used to do gymnastics. Did you know that? I did know. You told me. Also, Dan and I found a bunch of pictures of us when we were little together. Oh, I'll just film it. Okay, here, this is it. Check it out. Comparing gymnastics then versus now. <laughs> she has like a cartwheel over the thing. She just like, Wee! And the other girl's like spinning. Okay, I'm gonna try to find the men. This is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was he doing? We have a question of the day? Uh, yes, I can find one. Question of the day. How much wood does a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? That's my question of the day for you guys. You guys seem to like our couples Q&A. Mm -hmm. I wanna know, who thumbs downs our vi- Who thumbs down- I'm not gonna say. A video, like why? I wanna know why, I wish there was like a reason. It could just be people who go around thumbs downing every video. There's gonna be no question of the day today, guys, because nobody asked a question <laughs> in the comments from yesterday because we did a Q&A. Yeah, I guess because we answered so many, no one left another one. I mean, technically we can go back to the other videos and like search for one, but yeah. we answered so many questions yesterday, so. We'll do one tomorrow. Yes, 
And we're going to the water slides yeah. tomorrow, so that's exciting. I don't know if I'll film though, because we already shown you guys the water slides twice now. True. Okay, my battery completely died last night as I was talking to you guys. Um, so I figured I would end the video here. Dan went to go work out, but I'm actually packing for the water slides today. So I should go... Look, look. <laughs> I figured I'd show you guys what I was packing. I also just woke up, so this is why I look, you know, 100%. Um, this is the bag that I always use. It's like a beach bag, whatever. Um, this is by the brand Nina and & Co. And it's 100% Peace Pilgrim. Um, she actually makes these, hand makes them to help out like with uh, different charities and foundations and stuff and and I just really liked what she was doing so I got that. I'll show you guys what I'm gonna pack. So I just threw in a towel right here. I have my wallet. The next thing I'm gonna put in is some sunscreen. So this was sent to me the other day. I'm pretty sure I showed it in a vlog. This is the Dry Touch Broom Solaire by Biotherm. Biotherm? I don't know how to pronounce that. It might be French. I don't know. But it's moisturizing dry touch aerosol mist. Intense freshness, oil-free, alcohol-free, and it's 30 SPF, which, you know, isn't the best, but I'm going to reapply this. Also, I don't have another sunscreen right now, so this is the only thing I have. So pack that. Then over here, I got this face sunscreen. Yeah, so this is by Kiehl's, and I love the brand Kiehl's, but this is the one I'm going to be using on my face. I'm going to bring this with me, but I'm actually going to leave it here because I have to put it on after I wash my face. And this stuff is so good too it's like a really nice like fresh hydrating mist that is just so amazing is the word i'm looking for oh this is after sun but it's like a bronzing thing this stuff is actually really good i used it on my hand the other day to test it out it was awesome so that is what i'm bringing and then um probably gonna bring a big water bottle i'm gonna be wearing my bathing suit should i bring a change of clothes last time i just went home with my towel maybe i'll bring a change of clothes i just the bathrooms are so gross there i might just deck change and i feel like i'm forgetting something but i don't know what i'm pretty sure that's all you need okay so i just did my skincare regime i'm gonna wait for it to all set in then i'm gonna put the sunscreen on and also if you're wondering why my eyebrows are so crazy right now i've been using a serum to help the hair grow more and it's just making it grow in like the most awkward places but as soon as it's like done and then i'm able to um like clean it up it's gonna look great but yeah i'm gonna end the video here i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and what else was, i was gonna say something else i feel like i can't end these videos as well as dan does because he's so positive but just know that i love you guys and i will see you guys all tomorrow bye